The Middle East is a contentious place. So today, I decided to make it more peaceful, but just kidding. I chucked a feudal crusader state into the Levant in the modern day to see what would happen. It's perfectly legitimate to take half of a nation in a war. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> the Texas is independent and they're Catholic and they're socialists. Oh my God, I just looked at Russia. What? Why are they being occupied by Belgium? <laughs> Look, I don't want to accuse you of heresy or anything, but it looks like you might be part of the 70% of people not subscribed to this channel. I only have two words to try and convince you to subscribe. So it looks like I've uh, I've solved the Arab-Israeli conflict. <laughs> Can't start with that. <laughs> the year is 2021. It's probably the 11th of June, and uh, the King of Jerusalem's back. Uh, so we're going to start by enforcing cultural assimilation. Because <laughs> why not? Oh god, the events. Oh, alright. Thanks, Peru, for telling us all about this new stuff. Oh, China is a military hegemon, and America is the <laughs> economic hegemon. I'd say, though, I don't, I don't really remember the Froji and uh, an heir being independent states this time. But, I mean, who, what do I know? State religion secular. Look at this. No, 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 no. We're, we're doing the papacy thing. There's only one cardinal. He's in Malta. This is a level two fort. This is a castle. This is not going to do anything. I'm not sure why I have such low legitimacy. Oh, right. Yeah, I suppose we did found the kingdom, the Catholic kingdom of Jerusalem that is a feudal nobility. <laughs> we're a feudal society in, in 2022, and I'm wondering why we have low legitimacy. Right, we are hemorrhaging money, so um, we certainly need to get this on the road. It was only fitting <laughs> that Jerusalem will fight a holy war against Saudi Arabia um, and Afghanistan, apparently. But let's let's do that. Fort level two. See how quickly this one goes then. Right, so these forts are used. I'm just going to get rid of mine now. <laughs> no point. Oh, everyone's joining the EU. Serbia, Norway, Georgia. Can I join the EU? <laughs> Good priority here. I can't see the, the outcome of the battle because Ukraine has joined the EU. Awesome. Inferior nuclear strength. Uh, they've got nukes? We need, we need to get ourselves the nukes. How do we do that? All right, we're just going to build a nuke right now. It makes sense. It's the right thing to do. All right, so we have one nuclear weapon. I don't know how many they have. Oh, we have as many as them now. Brilliant. Okay, I'm starting to think that the Saudi Arabians aren't that good at fighting, and Ukraine has announced me as their rival. Uh, why? I need to just carpet siege before I go bankrupt. I really, really overestimated the uh, the size of the Jerusalemite economy. <laughs> Let me have a look at the stats while I've got paused. Okay, we have 128% discipline. <laughs> okay, that might that might help us a little bit. What's their tech cost? Okay, their tech is 88 and mine is 91. Okay, I'm starting to think why this area is my playground. All right, look, it makes sense. <laughs> look, it's perfectly legitimate to take half of a nation in a war. It's okay. These things happen. Oh, I can use the rest of the money that I've uh, uh, requisitioned, maybe, from uh, the Saudi Arabians to uh, buy a new nuclear weapon. Screw it. We're defending the faith, lads. There we go. Seven nations follow the Catholic faith. Seven. Where are where are my Catholic brethren? Uh, <laughs> the Texas is independent, and they're Catholic, and they're socialist. <laughs> what? And so is the Navajo. <laughs> Very confusing. Who else is Catholic that I need to defend? Uh, Dodsil. Nice. And Costa Rica. I'm just confused with all the independence movements. Like, Sindh is now free of India. So, that's the thing. Egyptian Saudi Arabian nationalist war. Well, that is that is incredibly inconsiderate, Egypt. You can't just attack a sovereign nation like that. Oh, God. Wait. <laughs> Why won't you wait? I felt bad about that. Syria wants military alliance. No. What? No. You know who I am, Syria. You know what I'm here to do. Oh, nice. The swing plow. <laughs> We've experimented with new shapes in 2024. Nice. Construct another nuclear weapon. Every time that option comes up, I'll click it. Excellent. More Francian guys. And uh, the flying shuttle. But not, not you know, the one that you'd think would be appropriate for this era. <laughs> It's a real. I'm going to ally Malta. And let's see if the Knights of St. John become a thing. Oh, they just they just killed themselves. They gave it to me. I now own Malta. <laughs> I 
I became friends with them and they died. How does Germany have a claim on this province? We're going to declare war on Tunisia and uh, co-belligerent the Egyptians. Let's go. Where are you going? Out of here, yeah? Go. And you're gone. I imagine this isn't exactly what the Crusaders would have been like. Well, it could have been. Who knows? Oh, Godfrey. Nice. 454. Get all this papal influence, but um, there's no, no cardinals. I have one. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to be the next pope. Oh, the Tunisians are here. Uh, the Tunisians are no longer here. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Way the pope. Nice. We've got a permanent claim on Greece. We don't discriminate. We'll come after everyone. All right, so you might be wondering, I've already won this war. Why am I still waiting? And it's because of this. I need to wait for this one ship. Because if I take any more territory, my naval force limit goes up. And I uh, I don't want that because I want this mission. I need an admiral now and then I'm all good. And finally, I can get four claims on everything. And a successful crusade for Jerusalem. <laughs> That's it. That's the only reason I was here. All right, so I finally finished it. And uh, it looks like we get a base in Africa because I didn't only just take this. I also decided to take the entirety of, <laughs> of Tunisia. Because why not? Oh my god, I just looked at Russia. What? what? Why are they being occupied by Belgium? <laughs> the coalition! Jesus Christ, what did you do, Russia? Did you annex Crimea? Oh my god, what did you do? Yeah, I don't think Russia's coming out of this one, lads. I really don't. Oh, also Korea's unified? What? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna leave that alone. And China just... Uh, okay, let's just ignore this region. Now we've conquered, you know, most of the Middle East, we can uh, we can actually upgrade to uh, an empire. Great! <laughs> the cultural union of French culture. All of those things like French Polynesian that we have in our land, of course. Ah, oh, excellent. We're a great power. Perfect. All right, so um, I I did something to Turkey, and only God can judge me for what I did here. Uh, but I could also restore the knights. Antioch. So, nice. God, adopt sectorism. That's not happening. Sunday schools, though. That sounds like it will happen. The, um, so everyone is a little bit upset at me. I'm just hoping that because they're all in a coalition against Russia, they won't join a coalition against me. Because Russia's in so many different wars. They can't all join me. So this is fine. This work. Honestly, this game is mostly nation management at this point. I can't, <laughs> can't move for rebels. Oh, no. Okay. I might have misjudged this. Wait, declare war on the Greeks. That'll solve everything. Okay, Ethiopia's in the coalition now. This is... This is bad. Alright, so sure this looks bad. And that's... Likely because it is bad. But that's fine. But Malta's no longer the seat of a cardinal. That was the only seat! Just living... Like, I'm, I'm gonna leave some of the sound effects in. Because every couple of minutes I get... Da -da! Da -da! It's so annoying. That's a different sound effect, at least. Oh, Slovakia is taking out my... Tr All right, let's hire some mercenaries. Somalia wants military access because they're at war with Iran. Makes sense. Ah! Uh <laughs> what? Texas just... What? Uh <laughs> Texas is... Is... Looking a bit bigger. They seem to have taken over... <laughs> the United States. They have never was a vassal. What? I, uh, I <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, so I might have fully annexed Greece. <laughs> Fine, it's all for the missions. You see, you put hoarding Greece. <laughs> oh god, I'm conquering faster than I can convert. <laughs> Not a good sign. And more people joining coalition against me. Uh. Oh, that's a lot of people. I decided to focus on, on just cleaning up my land. You know, not, not conquering anything. I'm lying. I'm lying. I took out Libya and Egypt and I don't know why. I just wanted the missions. So now I've got the land of the Moses. And 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 Axum, I need to now control for the next part. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Everyone's in a coalition against me. This is rapidly spiraling out of control. I'm just going to keep conquering until I collapse. That's, that's my only option at this point. I'm, I'm in too deep. My only option is to attack people who aren't in a coalition against me. So, I mean, honestly, I think I have like some sort of sickness, man. Because I decided to annex Albania. I don't know why. I didn't need to, but I did. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it took this long. Uh, a lot of people. All right, so um, I, I finished off the Algerian War first. 
But uh, yeah, people aren't too happy with me. I, don't, I can't imagine why. Now, this was a bad mistake for you, France. Uh, I don't think you want to be part of this. Especially now we found out what the spinning Jenny is. We've been trying to figure that one out for a couple hundred years. Cameroon wants military access because they're at war with Great Britain and Uganda. Okay, I have questions though. British changed government form of Ghana. <laughs> Greek separatism. With the Byzantine Empire reduced to a distant memory, most Greeks have come to lead their lines over to foreign rulers. Uh, lad, I conquered you like three years ago. It's not been that long. There's just so many of them. Like, I can't... They don't want to fight me in a, any sort of concentrated manner. They just sort of... It's, it's such a guerrilla way of fighting. They just sort of melt into the bushes. I can't fight anyone. Oh, I can fight that, though. 40,000 Frenchmen. This is actually the largest battle I've ever been in. 50,000 Frenchmen. And they are gone. <laughs> okay. Post alarm, lads. Thought it was going to be a battle. The force marching. I still can't catch you. Emigration. <laughs> oh, dear. Are they going to take my Paris? No. All right. Well, at least we can capture some French troops. And by capture, I mean uh, stack work. Oh, Italians. Capture some Italians here. No, come back, please. <laughs> Give me a battle. I need war score. Whew, right, we're getting there. We're slowly cutting them down. Ah, yes. That famous time the Ethiopians sieged back parrots. What are they doing? I mean, I, I'd consider this war thoroughly won, to be honest. I'm just going to take some provinces off them and... Uh... <laughs> we're going home, lads. There we go. I think I think that'll do it. <laughs> just took the southern coast of France. And we get to form the Latin Empire. Um, I think that's where we'll call it, to be honest. It's It's been a manic one, to be, to be sure. Uh, most of the Middle East is now Catholic, um, which is great, as well as the Balkans. This Texas thing, I, I can't, I've not been able to get over. It looks like Brazil's just been expanding in uh, in South America, naturally. And I don't, I don't know what happened to Russia. I don't know what they were forced to give up. I think they were just forced to give up um, a couple of provinces here and there. But I mean, <laughs> that's what happens when you put Jerusalem in uh, in the modern day, I suppose. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do let me know sort of similar video ideas that you have in the comments down below. I've really enjoyed this, so I'll be open to doing a similar sort of thing again. Yeah, bye.